Hey there. It's been a little bit of a while, but <clears throat> I guess I've been having a, too much fun writing this little program. Uh, but uh, one of the things that just came up is um, what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to have an interface to adding, a, like if I want to add a function to this graph, right? Okay, a dialog. Um, this one, like this, where I would select a function. That's right. I'm going to change that. Select a function, and then it would ask me all the right questions. Reverses. So, what I've done is um, something like. I don't know if you know what a property sheet is, but like a property sheet. Three D look. Now, how come my my combo box doesn't have a three D look? Oh, I know. It's a style. Um, and uh, so that's what I came up with. So you see these props here. Those are like property sheet things. When you make a property sheet dialog, you make little dialogs that run um, on their own, sort of, depending on which tab someone's chosen. Now, where is the style of the of this thing? This is the one. Uh, come back. I drop down, drop list. I think this would look better. More solid, you know. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, see, when I do that, uh, if I, uh, this is for if I want a sawtooth function, I have amplitude and period is how often it repeats. So let's say I want to put it up to 80 and I want it to repeat every 45. So that's, that's what I would get with that. Um, and uh, I can add a sign function, which has a different thing, set of things to set. This has these two and this has uh, three things to set. Like wavelength, amplitude, and phase. So I could put this, I don't have color on here, I should add that. Let's give it a good amplitude, 150. And I should save these in the width in the registry. Now, 600 should be one thing, yeah. So now you, if you wanted, you could show someone how, how phase effects. Now I want this to come back the same. Now can I type in here? Sort of. And the phase is, oh dear. Okay, well I hit a crash. The H wind. Okay, no problem. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, but you see what I mean. Now, the idea is uh, you make a small dialog like this that's got no border, and you add that to another dialog. Let me see if I can figure this out. Why this is broken? Uh, edit phase. Spin phase. Now it's a dialog. Okay. Spin phase, spin with with spin sign amplitude. I had to make this different because it was getting confused with the O oh, maybe. Maybe phase and period are the same. I don't think they can have the same numbers because they're sort of part of the same dialogue. Let's see. 
wavelength for this spin 110 8 oh but also the edit edit 113 you see any repeats at all edit wavelength is the same as props area that's no, no good it's gotta be different eight four not eight I'll make it fifteen Any more repeats? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. <clears throat> but still, that, well, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see if that fixes it. No, crash. Curl stack. No, they're not very useful. Malloc. Spin buddy. So we can do a spinner. Uh, value this get range. It's a spin here, spin control. Oh, it's oh, it's calling itself over and over again. See, look, it's in a, it's in a, it's in a loop, of doing the same thing, which is calling the same function over and over again. Now why would that ca cause this to call this? Message 12, 12, 12, 12. Maybe it's bu buddy. Maybe it's buddy. <laughs> Maybe it's got its buddy wrong. Seems right here. Oh, hang on, let me fix this. Sorry. Okay, I found it. <laughs> That's twice I've been hit by that. It's this um, con uh, auto conversion from. Uh, this here which returns it's supposed to, it returns uh, an integer value right whoops um, but low word and high word are no, are unsigned right so in fact it's a it's a short uh, and this is an int and in order to do a comparison with this against this, the value when I press the down thing is minus one. Okay. Uh, now that according before I had I just had this. Okay, and uh, that was out of range according to the uh, according to the rules of uh, C and C plus plus. I mean all these fancy lang languages. <clears throat> As you know, look at the definition of high word. Word here is unsigned. That's an unsigned short. So high word is an unsigned value. Right? Because it takes this, whatever it is, top 16 bits. Uh, 
and cast them to an unsigned value. Um, and, but this is a signed value, and what I want is the um, because of the way that they store the, uh, the range, uh, the two numbers is they store it in one D word, and the high D word is an integer, a sh signed short um, integer value, and the low word is a signed short. Um, uh, it did short, short int, short int value. No, I don't know if there's a, a signed version of high word. No, probably not. Uh, but first, th this would this would be no good, right? Uh, I don't think, uh, because that's what it's doing automatically anyway, right? And since this is unsigned, uh, well, let's just see if it crashes. Maybe it would work. But pre pre another, there's another case where I got nailed because um, of this negative thing, where the thing was promoted to, the value was promoted to an end, I think, it's in the same vein, uh, or is it, and I just changed it here, in range, right, this, this here was returned, it's going to crash, I'm sure, yeah, oh, or not, or, yeah, there it goes, see, it's, gonna, it's on the stack, it's calling and calling itself. Um, previously, this was crashing on me. Right? I was always getting uh, not in range, not in range, because the range I've defined for this um, value, the phase, can be positive or negative. Right? And I've never run into this before because I've always used ranges that were positive, but here I want positive and negative, so I have minus 200 to 200 for the phase. Now, uh, so this was failing, this end pause was not in between, this was previously, like, just, uh, it, it doesn't matter really, uh, because it's, it swaps from Previously, it was like this. Okay, without this part. Okay. Now, here I saw the answer immediately because I saw this DW here. And that's, and that's, an, that's a sign, unsigned value, right? Uh, Now, even though, though, even if this was a signed value, we would still have the same problem because this, again, uh, casts everything to unsigned. So then I tried, um, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll just uh, define these as ints, right? And uh, do it like that. Didn't work. Now, it would have worked if this was if this value was the size of an integer, right? If it was 32 bits, it would have the conversion would have worked, right? Like if I, if I have this and I cast that to an end, I'm going to get minus one, right? But that's not what happens if I if I do this, right? That's uh, you know, 65,000 something or other. Be because it does, it's not at, in the negative range for an integer, it's not going to cat, it's not going to uh, properly recognize the sign. So you've got to recognize that, it, that it's a short value. And when you cast this unsigned short to a signed short, then it becomes negative, and then it will sign, the sign will extend.
similarly here, right? Uh, this here is. So, so this is the proper cast. And there should be a, I, I should make my own macro to them. Or some way to uh, prevent, I'm not sure how to prevent that from happening again. There could be other cases for this savings of um, uh, 16 bits, you know, in, in the message. Well, of course, you still got to send, <laughs> like uh, this saves, this saves you money because uh, the, the messages are sent where, uh, it's only only in the L param. They only use L param, and they don't use W param. So like, it's it's free. W param is free, but it's not used. And you still have to send a, a, a value in there anyway. But never mind. Anyway, so that thing does exactly. Yeah, now it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And you'll notice that I'm I'm using uh, for those little property sheet type things that my things are you know TS dialogs. It's a it's a TS dialog. It goes through the same mechanism, and therefore I can use my little controls, which apparently don't work. Um, you know, and get the callbacks and everything and, and use those values. You know, I, I don't have to invent a, a whole new language for, for these little things. If I want to assign function, uh, phase of minus 40, amplitude of 150, wavelength's good. Um, no. Again, I'm sure it's going to be See? No. Oh. That's one might be right because I middle pause. What's middle pause? I'm sure that's incorrect. That's incorrect, right? Shirt, sure. And let's see if I get a problem now. Here's another one. Uh, get get pause is wrong. Okay. Uh, is it wrong? Middle. What was asserting? Oh, get pause. Well, that doesn't seem right. No, well, it could be. Well, it's not in range. We'll see. Phase was, what was it? Minus something, minus 40, minus 50. This should be fine. Now. N pause is a great big number. Actually, it's negative. But it's not a very big negative number. Uh, but it's 65486, you see. It's not negative because it's the wrong number of bits. This thing returns a value which is a short. It doesn't return as it should, and L per, um, it can, it can return up to 32, 32, in fact, maybe more. It's an L result, and who knows how many bits an L result contains. But it's clear that this, oh, I never looked at the help on it, must be returning, um, 
the uh, an assigned short value. I just press the F1 key. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Turn value. If successful, the high order word is set to zero and the low order word is set to current position. The high order word is set to zero. What? What high order word? Return value. Oh. Okay. Alrighty then. Should be okay now. That's a pretty dumb return value. Now it worked. Okay. Because what it's done is it's a, instead of <laughs> if you it, it, it should have a warning in the where the help. In the help. By the way, the low order word is being set to either a positive or negative value, right? So therefore, there won't be any sign extension. You ha you have to cast that low that val return value, even though it's a 32-bit value, to a short, to a sign short, in order to get the right number. Anyway, you see, so now I have these two functions. And uh, each one has its own uh, properties that you can set. And this thing actually should be bigger. Maybe not that big. And this to uh, 90, 70. I had trouble trying to create this. So I, I needed this sawtooth function for um, where I'd like to use it anyway, because um, this is a good one for like what I want to do is I want to make a, a little animated uh, like this crosshair thing that animates with a little circle that goes out uh, to the you know to the outside and then makes a small circle and over and over, repeats that expanding over and over and over again. I don't want it to go out and in and out and in, right? I want it to do linear, uh, a linear motion. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Um, a circle. Imagine a circle. Oh, I, I can use my program. I can use a vector. Suppose you have, a, imagine this is in, not units of pixels, but smaller units. Well, it's supposed to be a circle. Okay. And uh, time zero, it's even smaller than this. It's like here. And as time grows, it, the circle gets bigger and bigger and bigger, maybe changing colors as it goes along. And, but it's a linear uh, growth, if you can imagine that. And then when it reaches the end, it starts over again. Now, in order to do that, the, ra the radius of the circle uh, is growing linearly until it hits a maximum and it goes back to the beginning and it grows and that's a sawtooth. So I wanted to make a sawtooth function to make that little animation. It should be easier to make a sawtooth. <laughs> but it was kind of tricky to get the negative ones. It's not reflexive, right? It's, it's not... This function is not... Um, 
symmetric about the y-axis. F of minus x is not equal to f of x, right? And uh, I forget what I put for the period, but it doesn't seem to line up perfectly. But there's rounding errors. Look, I, I wish I was saving those things in the registry. No, actually, I think I can delete all the stuff now. Clear all, I think, works. Yes, it does. Whether I'm editing or not. <clears throat> actually, I have. I don't, know, I don't know if this is going to work. It might. Well, let me make a bunch of things. These vectors. And uh, maybe. Um, what else can I make? Uh, uh, points. Point path. And um, like now I can add functions. Sine wave. I can't change its color, unfortunately. I'm going to go with a negative phase. Let's see, what else can we add to our graph? What else do I have? Path, line, oh, lines. Another one. Gray, white. Purple. Pink. Something I, don't know. I guess you'd call that pink. Okay, now how do I do that again? I think I just say clear all. I added a function to the graph thing called push all. I want to get back to work with my project. Go away. Go away, go away. Okay, that will occur on file open. Uh -huh. Wait, but there's another place. Ready? Okay, all right, I'll open up, I'll open another one. Well, this also works in full screen now, by the way. That, 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 well, some, some of it does. Let's say mixer upper. See? Um, if I want to open. Now, oh yeah, now if I. Oh no. Try that again. It only works in edit mode. I didn't, it doesn't matter if I'm in full screen or not. It was easy to do. We had a couple points. And we have some, have some lines. It doesn't seem to all, well. I'm I'm pretty pretty picky about what count constitutes a click. Like uh, within three pic, the up and the down have to be within three pixels of each other, which is a uh, pretty strict rule. Okay, uh, and then we can add um. Uh, This part won't work in uh, full screen mode because I haven't added a uh, keyboard accelerator for it. Well, how do I? I might have.
Wish I could I put color. Uh, minus limit function. <coughs> Okay, okay. I can only add one. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, vectors. Alright, fine. I messed something up. Okay. Now, according to theory, if I control Z now. See, it says edit mode is on, but all of these are. You can't do. That's what's mixed up, I see. Okay, we'll try again now. Well, oh, it worked. See? I did push all and pop all, which pop, pops the uh, last state as it was um, into um, back into the thing created group oh <laughs> so, so, and so done set next line this created group thing is a, uh, it doesn't it's not returning an error C created just means that it didn't exist before and then it came into existence if it returns false it was already existing so I can so I can certainly use the function you can make saw to With uh, a lower amplitude. See how it's not, it doesn't draw very well? But I only do 200 dots, right? It's not very good. It's not very well suited to 200 dots. And I haven't added, haven't added a, um, the, all of the functions. Yet, but it's, you can see it's quite easy to add to add more functions and to have their each have their own customized thing, whatever fits in here. I just center the uh, other mini dialog in in this box. I could make the box bigger and uh, run the run the dialog. Now, this is it's a child this here is a child window of this dialog however for some strange reason it doesn't move with the dialog if I move the dialog it just sits there so I've got to you know on move on is it windows message window pause change or something and when I get one of those I gotta move the thing. Where is it now? On move. Compute the new um, rec. And I don't have actually in, in my dialog class. I don't have as much support now as I have in my TS window class for these things. It's time to start to put the two together and have a single TS wind or something. Because all all of these same func all of these functions are now becoming repeats in the two classes, and so it's time to merge and consolidate. But anyway, I want to get this thing finished first. The, re the reason I wanted that animated um, cursor thing is because I want to animate the motion of a thing. Uh, I want to animate for a parametric function the position as a function of time. Okay? So I need a little dot that can move along as time increases. And uh, there's a parameter 
associated with parametric functions, sometimes called t. But I'm going to rename that to something that's not t, because I want to show you the effect of um, changing. If you ch if you change the way that you increase or decrease the value of uh, of the parameter, you get the same function, right? But the point, but the uh, a point moving along, if let's say that to the parameter s goes as the square of time, right? Then uh, if it was a sine wave from par parametrized, then the point would move along the sine wave, but it would go faster and faster and faster as time increased, right? So you you don't see that effect when you just draw the thing. And that's how those uh, splines work, is by uh, first direction, and then the rate of change of the parameter is altered, so that the point moves uh, in different directions, uh, both because of the value of the parameter and its derivative. And so that, that's why you can make these nice smooth curves. And I'll be trying. I'll be getting to that uh, next time. See you.